Hey, this is Nyx, and today we are going to be uh, recreating Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is a character that I have not really looked much into, so I don't really know him beyond the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I can tell you though, he was created in the 60s along with Scarlet Witch. I think that's when they came up with a lot of their uh, mystical and magical characters was around the 60s. But as far as, um, like I said, I really, unfortunately, I don't know much about him, even though he's a magical being. I, I just, I feel like he wasn't in the public eye very much until the more recent Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Because I don't know, I had looked at the Scarlet Witch before those movies came out. I, I have no idea why. I don't know if it was something, some animated movie I seen or I knew, the, the show or something way back in the day. Who knows? But anyway. <laughs> so, uh, as far as uh, my recreation of Doctor Strange, I kind of wanted to base him on the his live action counterpart, um, Benedict Cumberbatch. But Benedict Cumberbatch has a very unique face and I am already terrible at cre recreating faces and it would have done um, it's come back a, a huge disservice if I had tried to recreate his face, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I did make an attempt. So, you know, please forgive the way he was starting to look after a while. That was my attempt at, at trying. It just wasn't a good attempt. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> At some point, as I was re as I was uh, recreating him, I thought he started to look like um, Killian or Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. If you've ever seen Once Upon a Time, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this don't look right. <laughs> but look, look, that was what I that's what that's what, that's what he started looking like to me. Like that's what he started looking like. Like when I was re recreating uh, Poison Ivy, in all honesty, she started looking like Fiona from Shrek to me at a certain point. I was like, ooh. But I think she's starting out great. If you want to go see that, you can definitely go do that. But anyway, um, I eventually went ahead and added some gray up there because um, he does have some, some gray in his hair. Especially in the comic books. Uh, I, think, I think it was just a way to show that he is a wise character. Who knows? I uh, also went ahead and just did a Alpha and a Maxis Match version of um, Doctor Strange. Because the Maxis Match um, Doctor Strange outfit looked a little weird on our Alpha Doctor Strange. But of course, you know, it all depends on what you like. I know a lot of people, like I said before, like Maxis Match uh, CC and stuff. So there's two different options. Uh, who's going to see Doctor Strange this weekend, the second movie? I'm Like I said, I'm very behind, so I don't... I don't want to go see because I got to catch up with everything else. <laughs> I got to go catch up with everything else first. So um, I don't really want to see that quite yet until I am ready. Until I'm kind of caught up. Who knows when that would be? Maybe that'd be five years from now. I'm not even going to lie. It takes me quite some time to watch movies. I just am typically behind on a lot of different things. But um, that's pretty much all I have to say about Doctor Strange. Uh, so I will stop talking soon. <laughs> Um, but you can go ahead and watch until you see their final looks of uh, our two Doctor Strangers here. I'll release the CC for them in a couple weeks so you can go ahead and uh, subscribe so you can come back and get all the CC that was used here. I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you all enjoy. Please take care of yourselves and until next time, bye!